Hey guys, I'm back again. I'm going to be doing my foundation routine. This is what I've been doing pretty much every single day. Um, it's, it's really easy and quick. So, I'll show you how to do it. So first, I prime my skin, but i um, got to take my glasses off. Before I prime, I usually spray my face with Fix Plus or uh, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix, but I ran out of Fix Plus, so I'm going to use this. Same, it's pretty much the same thing. Just spritz my face a little bit. Okay, I go overboard, but it feels so good. And then I'm taking Benefits Pore Professional. I don't really have that many pores, but I just, it's a good primer. So I rub it in my fingers, make sure your fingers are clean, and I just put it on the center of my face. And if I look over there or over there, it's because I have a mirror. So, yeah, and I apologize if I look in the viewfinder a lot. I'm still getting used to recording myself and not looking in a viewfinder. But now that we have that out of the way, next I'm gonna take um, That Gal. Is that what it's called? Yeah, That Gal. It's by Benefit 2. Um, just to put on like my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose, but my cupid's bow on my chin. So just over here, I'm gonna even bring it up to my eyebrow a little bit too. Next comes the fun part. Uh, I've been using Maybelline Fit Me, but clearly this is not my color. So I've been mixing Max Face and Body in white. On a little tray. This one's from Makeup Forever. Probably not the best brush to use, but I'm it's the only one I could find. It's from Michaels. I'm just going to mix everything together. Okay, this is still a little too dark, but I don't really mind because I'm not going out anywhere. So I'm just gonna put this on my face. Yeah, please, this is too dark for me. I'm gonna blend it out though. To my neck and stuff. So have that on. I'm gonna take my Sigma. I don't know the name of this. I can't see without my glasses. So please excuse me if my eyes go like cross-eyed. I really cannot see. But I could leave the name of the brush in an annotation or something. Like, or someone will comment what it is. But I really cannot see at all. So. I don't even know if this is in focus. I would suck if it's not. Well, I'm just gonna blend this out and come right back. Okay, now that we've got our foundation blended out, um, next I take MAC Pro Longwear. I would show you, but I broke mine, like broke it out of the glass, so I had to put it in a little jar. Yeah, which sucks. But I'm gonna take the same brush I used to put the foundation on my face and just put this. I'm gonna look at my mirror and I just go. I apologize if my eyes are getting all weird. I really cannot see unless I do that, so don't judge. I'm gonna take my MAC Pepper Prime stick in. I can't read because I can't see. I don't know, I'll leave it down below. It's the peachy one. I'm gonna blend it out with my foundation brush. Okay. So that's all blended out. I'm gonna zoom out again. Okay. Now that that's blended out, I'm gonna take Laura Mercier translucent powder, loose one, and I'm obsessed with it. This is probably my favorite translucent powder in the whole entire world. And this is a Sigma, I think, the highlighter, the tapered highlighter brush. I don't know the name of it, but we're just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna set under my eyes first. After that, I'm gonna take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Works okay. To get my skin really, really dewy, how I like I love it, I use MAC Cream Color Base in Pearl. And 
And I'm just gonna use my finger, cause why not? I put it just on top of my cheeks. And I need to blend this in really, really well because I put on powder first like an idiot. So it might get a little hard to blend out over powder. I don't really have that much trouble with it usually, but... If you do get really oily, I would probably not do that because it would just make you look oilier. I'm just going to take my foundation brush. Just so it doesn't look super crazy. Okay, we have that on. Then I'm gonna go in with my Riri bronzer from MAC and it had like an overlay on it, so some of it's gone, but most of it's still there. And that will also make you look a little bit more bronzy and glowy because it was super sparkly. I'm not contouring, I'm just bronzing up my face, I'm putting it the temples, the cheekbones, the jawline, down the neck, even my chin, pretty much everywhere. So it just makes you look healthy and glowy. Next, I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer to contour, but mine's broken because I break everything and it's in a billion little pieces, so yeah. And I'm going to take my NARS Ida brush, Ida brush, I don't know the name. Just going to get some on there. And then I'm just gonna, to contour, you wanna follow the tip of your ear down. And you wanna stop about the middle of your eye. So first I draw a straight line like that. That looks super harsh, I'm not gonna leave it like that. And I'm just gonna go in circular motions. I'm gonna turn my brush this way. I'm looking in the mirror again, please excuse me. And then I'm just gonna, you can even take a little more. Like I'm going to teeny teeny bit more. I barely put anything on my brush. I'm going to bring it up to my temples because I have a pretty large forehead. And then that is how I contour. So I don't know if you could see the difference. And then I'm going to take what's ever left over. Probably shouldn't talk when I'm doing that. I'm going to take what's ever left over and put it underneath my lip to make it a little more pouty and then whatever is left from that I'm gonna go down my nose. For blush, um, it switches with my mood, what I'm wearing. So this is never the same but I'll just show you what I'm gonna use today. I pretty much use this a lot of the time. Um, this is a Makeup Forever palette that I got in school when I was in makeup school. Um, my teacher picked out the color so I'm not sure, I probably shouldn't show you the mirror. I'm not sure the names of them because I threw out the packaging, yada yada. I'm just going to take this kind of coppery one and then the peachy one up here. Just These are super pigmented so barely even touch it. Then I'm just going to go right on my cheek. Right on my cheek. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I kind of just put blush everywhere. take a clean brush and just buff everything. I apologize if the dog has been barking this entire video. I'm so sorry. Do some highlighter. So for my cheeks, I'm going to use hmm. I'm going to go in with the Sharon Osbourne highlighter from the Heart Collection with the MAC. I'm going to take the lighter side. So back with the Sigma highlighting brush, I'm going to take that. You could even spray um, the Mist and Fix on your brush to make it a super intense highlight, which is what I want. I'm going to take a little bit down the nose of my lip. Uh, that's pretty much it for all I do for my foundation. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, my brows. Um, I'm not going to put any eye makeup, just some mascara. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the end of my foundation routine. Um, I just put on my brows, my mascara, and my lipstick is Please Me by MAC. It's really, really pretty. 
I hope that you enjoyed my video and thank you to everyone who subscribed. I only have like six subscribers, but thank you to, to whoever you are. Um, thanks for watching my other videos. And yeah, if you want to see how I do my eyebrows, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.